Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, J.I. Colorist. This video is the October 2024 Completed Pages video. I am posting it beginning of November, um, just because I had so many videos going on in the month of October that uh, I couldn't fit this one in as well. So here we are starting the month off, taking a look back at last month. So we're going to take a quick look in our uh, my planner. And... In October, we had both uh, Thanksgiving in Canada and Halloween. Uh, so I, a few stats, I completed 17 pages. I did six buddy colors. I had 13 videos, which is uh, quite a bit. I participated in just two hashtags and I'd like to welcome 45 new uh, fellow subscribers, fellow colorists to the channel. So welcome. Um, I don't ask for subscribers every single uh, video instead I leave that for once a month and so this is that video so if you enjoy what you see happening on our channel and want to get reminded that there's a video being posted by all means I'd love for you to join our community uh, as a fellow colorist so um, go ahead and subscribe I'd also like to say if you are enjoying the videos uh, sharing my video with others uh, is even a bigger boost to me. So even if you can't or choose not to subscribe and you like what you see, go ahead and share a video um, and that would be great to just bring other people to my channel. All right, let's move on and go and look at the pages that I completed. Like I mentioned, I did complete 17 pages. Three of those though are in the Festive Coloring Book, so you won't be seeing those this uh, video. Let's start with the smallest book, and that is The Gems Volume 2. So I use this book as part of my Coloring the Gems, uh, the birthstones of the month. And in October, the birthstone was opal. So I did a bunch of different opals, and then I colored this one. And so I'm using this as one of my completed pages. And this is a black opal. I used polychromos pencils. I used some Dollar Tree glitter uh, metallic markers, some glaze pens. And then on top of this, I used the Mod Podge Extreme glitter and a couple of different gold gel pens. And some on here on the uh, shiny bits is uh, what has turned out to be one of my favorite re most reach for pens, which is the Jelly Roll Stardust Clear. So I've used that quite a bit. And there goes my furnace. This is Canada and uh, even though there's snow has melted, uh, it's still cold. And uh, so yeah, so I apologize if you hear my furnace coming in. So that's the first page done in Gems Volume 2 by Cynthia Clowder. And I got this book on Amazon a few years ago. The next book by size is a book that I completed at the end of the month and this is some pumpkins and I did two of these pumpkins I did this one and this one on screen while I was also showing you uh, pictures of my pumpkin patch for this year as well as a few pictures of the carvings of the pumpkins that happened so on this page I used uh, Artex pencils some Prismacolored pencils some Winsor Newton gold ink and that was just recently shown in my haul video and I have it here so that's this so you have to shake it up it separates quite a bit so you shake it up and I used a small uh, tiny paintbrush and uh, painted some gold accents where you see some of the gold I use some neon prismas here and this one right here I'll bring it in is the first time I've ever used this pencil here which is one of those uh, magic four or five colors in one pencil and I thought that that would be a good place to kind of use it and it was kind of fun so I was able to use quite a few different uh, pencils on this page and uh, yeah I like how it ended up turning out little bit of dual hybrid gold but otherwise a lots just lots of pencil work 
and that is my one page from Rita Berman. I haven't colored in her pages, her books for a while, so I was happy to get back to uh, that. And then I guess next year I have a whole page of pumpkins I can still do. I did not do how many pumpkins there is because I didn't really feel like I colored a whole bunch of pumpkins since the pri previous year. So maybe the addition of this will help for next year. The next book is Sea of Colors by Angela Gonzalez and I did three pages this month. I'll show you the first page that was not a buddy color. It was just a page that I did on my own and it is of some uh, a whale and I think this is an eel and a turtle. Just a variety of uh, fish on this page. I used some markers, some gel pen, a little bit of stencil for the dots and some jelly roll metallic some pit pens yeah so just a fun i am trying to complete this book so uh, i am trying to focus and get a few more pages done each month the next two pages are buddy colors with my good coloring friend sherry denowitz so i am going to show you her page first and it is of the seashells sherry's page is cute she used fun bright colors and uh, they, they really made me smile. They were happy, cheerful colors. And uh, so thanks, Sherry. You're encouraging me to get this book done and I really appreciate it. And here is my page. And I used some crayons, uh, Neo Color One metallic crayons for these ones here with some Jelly Roll on top. And these are all the Neo Color Ones down below. In fact, this whole page is Neo Color 1. Uh, it just depends on whether it's metallic or regular Neo Color ones, which are the non-soluble uh, crayons. And then for the little bit of bling that you see on the starfish is the Stardust Clear. So I think it turned out it was quite fun. Uh, and yeah, they blend quite well to get the shine on the metallic ones, uh, it does require uh, quite a bit of pressure. So you lay it down heavy and then I would use like a flattened Q-tip to rub it and get that shine. So, but I am happy with how it turned out. And our next buddy color page was the octopus with the treasure. And I'll show you Sherry's page first. Sherry's octopus was purple and cute. Love it. Sherry has such a great eye for color and my page here's my page and um, it ends up looking okay but it it was uh, a little bit of a labor of love I used ink on the background and then I used ink here um, but the problem was is that the ink that I used here was water soluble um, so then when I added some water uh, it kind of ran everywhere uh, which is not kind of what I was going for. Uh, so I decided glitter makes it better. So I put Mod Podge Glitter Extreme on the bottom and it actually ran even more uh, until it dried. Uh, so yeah, kind of a, a miss on the bottom, but uh, it is just sand. So I'm going to go with that. It's okay. So for the treasure chest, I used Copic Chow markers, some gel pens, glossy accents, and uh, polychromos. A little bit of gel pen for this area here. And the glossy accents are on some of the eyes. Okay, and those are the three pages completed from Sea of Colors. I now have 12 pages left. Um, I'm still hoping to get them accomplished, but I am uh, pretty swamped. Uh, right now with the festive coloring project that we got going. So um, I will not be taking any new buddy colors on for the month of November or December. So if I already have a buddy color set up with you, um, we will be honoring that. But um, otherwise, I'm going to have to hold off until January for the rest of them. Okay, the next book is A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo, another book that I'm focusing on finishing. Uh, I did two pages this month, 
So that means I have eight pages left. Uh, I did one page on my own, which was this page here. So this is squirrels and not sure what this guy is down here, but uh, yeah, we uh, did this uh, while I was away. And so I had my four candies pencils with me, which were the pencils that I like to travel with. And uh, yeah, I had lots of uh, meditative type time just doing the leaves uh, because there are a lot of leaves, but uh, I had fun. I did three colors on them and uh, the four candies pencils are waxy and they blend really well. So very happy with this whole page. And then I did a buddy color. So I will show you my buddies page first. This is um, my fellow colorist and subscriber, uh, Kiera uh, or Mizzy, and she is from Paris. We have buddy colored before, and her page is adorable. She did uh, some pinks, and I love that her uh, color choices on her little mushroom man and the mushroom that he's standing on uh, are uh, pink and blue and purple. It's, uh, very cute. Great job. And uh, I think she has a black cat, so she uh, did a lot of her cats in black. So thank you again for uh, buddy coloring with me, Mizzy. I appreciate that. And so this is my page. I used pan pastels for the background, some pit pens, Spectrum Noir sparkle pens, Chromaflow pencils, and some stickles. And so, um, the stickles, there's some gold stickles on my guy's pom-pom, and that's because on this page here, I had done a circus theme from July of 2022. So I had, uh, so I kind of wanted to transfer some of what has happening over here, over to here. So that's why I did a pink elephant. And uh, yeah, I think that, and I drew extra legs on my sewing machine. Um, it only had uh, two legs and so I drew the extra ones on because I just didn't understand how this sewing machine was standing upright so uh, that's what I did. But yeah I used mostly the pit pens and uh, some Chromaflow and the Spectrum Noir sparkle pens and a few uh, jelly rolls for dots and some accents along the page but yeah I love how and I'll show both pictures side by side just so you can see how uh, some similarities like our cat in the picture I thought that was very cute and then so many differences I mean even our chairs we used a lot of similar colors um, so yeah some it just it worked out really well some of our things were the same and yet so different so Thank you again for the buddy color. And that was the last page in A Million Cute Animals. The next page is from uh, Lulu Mayo's Kawaii Tarot. And I did a page, the Nine of Wands slash the Ten of Wands with fellow YouTube creator, Color and Create with Jana. And this is Jana's page. And Jana and I have buddy colored a couple times before but this is her first time uh, buddy coloring with me in the Kawaii book. And I love how she did her page. Uh, great job. Uh, she did wonderful on all of her lollipops. I just love the candy look of it. And uh, yeah, so really, really pleased with how that turned out. And so thank you so much, Jana, for uh, coloring with me and uh, encouraging me to get a little further down in the book. I have been doing this book in order with uh, Candace, um, and but I'm actually waiting on Candace now to do some more cards. So the, I've jumped ahead a little bit with some of my buddies. This is my page. Uh, I use clear watercolor paints for the um, outside edge. And I'm trying to make all of the uh, things cohesive. So I did decided on doing purple and pink and then on this page I did pink and then purple not sure that I really liked that but anyways um, we're going with it now so I did Clearo paint uh, from the rainbow paint set and then this is a Dollar Tree 
uh, metallic marker. I did ink for the background, polychromos pencils, uh, Dollar Tree markers, like I mentioned, glaze pens, stickles, and Stadler pigment pens. So these are the um, Dollar Tree metallic markers. Uh, this is polychromos, Dollar Tree, uh, glaze, and stickles. So yeah, so I think you can see the shine. I do think that um, on Jana's page, she did like a, a white highlight swirl to uh, indicate the roundness. I think that um, I, I don't have great luck with white, um, but I might have to figure out um, a white pen that works for me because I, I do think that that would have added to, um, to my page. So thank you so much, Jana, for buddy coloring with me. I appreciate you uh, pushing me to get a page done further on in the book. And uh, yeah, and that is the one page that we did from Kauai Tarot Coloring Book this month. The next book in order by size is Lovely Things by our dear Amanda Colors. And I did a buddy color with Nick, Nikki from Knickknack Colors uh, off of Instagram. And Nikki uh, reached out to me to do a buddy color. We've done buddy colors in the past. So I was happy to do a page from this book with her. This is Nikki's page. I think it's adorable, fun colors, bright, cheerful. Um, and I love the clouds that she added to her page. So well done, Nikki. And thank you for reaching out to buddy color with me. And here is my page. Um, the paper is a little bit thin, so you can see behind it. So maybe I'll grab a blank piece of paper. It's a little better. Okay, so I used Copic Chow markers and Studio 71 markers, just uh, markers in a bin, grabbing them. And then I used some paint pen uh, to cover up a few lines and such. But just kind of had fun and tried to get some stuff done. Um, this here is ink. Uh, tried to do some inking. Uh, wasn't really thrilled with it. So um, I added a few little uh, grass things to make it so. But yeah, so that is my one page from uh, Lovely Things. And this is just a nice uh, Kauai coloring book that uh, has big, simple page pictures in it that are uh, easy and fun to do. So thanks, Nikki. The last book that I have that has a buddy color in it, uh, I'll adjust the camera. This next book is Shooting Star by Maria Trollet. And I did a buddy color with Cindy Weiser. Uh, Cindy's a good friend and coloring uh, companion here in Canada, and she's on Instagram. So we have buddy colored many times. This is Cindy's picture. I love the uh, bright, cheerful colors she used on her um, mushrooms and her cat. I think she has a black cat. Um, I, so she did her cat black and he's awfully cute. I love her eyes and uh, love her bright sky. So thank you, Cindy. It's always a pleasure and uh, I hope you're doing well. This is my page and I'm calling this cat in mushrooms page. I used pit pens, polychromos, glaze pens, spectrums, nor sparkle brush pens, uh, gelatos, uh, stencil for the stars here, uh, chromoflow pencils, and some stardust clear. So the stardust clear is on the mushrooms. And I went for darker on one side and kind of uh, lighter on this side. Uh, my cat was um, black, but it's more, it turned out to be more uh, a dark gray. And I did glaze, green glaze eyes for him. And the gelato is in the background. I did the sky with some clouds. And then also I did some ink on the, for the foliage. We weren't quite sure if this was foliage or clouds, but uh, to me it made more sense to be foliage. So um, yeah, that's how I filled that in. And here's our pages side by side. Again, a few similarities. Um, in fact, uh, I went for almost exactly the same uh, color scheme here 
only later and uh, Cindy's so I'm not sure if I did that subconsciously because I had uh, we had been sending progress pictures back and forth or not uh, both of them look great together and uh, they both make me smile so thank you Cindy for buddying with me in Shooting Star by Maria Trollet just a couple more books left it's Halloween so I thought for goodness sakes I haven't done any Halloween pictures so I grabbed my Matchstick Mouse a Halloween coloring book last year I had done a bunch of backgrounds in this book I just went through and did a ton of backgrounds and uh, then this year I thought well I'll go do a couple of the pages that I had done backgrounds in so the background for this was ink and then stardust gel so this is the one where it's already got stars and sparkles in it and for this I used Neo Color 2 uh, and a dual metallic hybrid for the gold but everything else and some glaze on his eye everything else is Neo Color 2 so those are the water soluble crayons and I think he looked or she looked cute and then on the very next page still using Neo Color 2 I did this so last year I did the washi tape uh, which is um, a spider web and I also had punched out a bunch of little paper spiders and glued those down so then this year I just did the Neo Color 2 and I wanted to make it a fall so I used fall colors and uh, then for the spider web here I don't know if you can see the little dots but I did little white um, or little silver dots on the entire spider web to make it kind of sparkle and gleam so yeah so two pages done from the matchstick mouse Halloween coloring book and I was able to get those done because I already had the uh, backgrounds finished I just can't seem to leave backgrounds alone in these books um, that's that's a me problem part of my uh, series that I do every month are the zodiac animals and so I use the animal Mandela adult coloring book for uh, September for October's goodness and it was the Libra and the Swan so I did some uh, gel pen some glaze pens some uh, Mod Podge glitter on top of the two swans here and there is a video of me completing this and I believe we also do some trivia in this video as well so this is just a fun fun picture but I do like how the colors turned out uh, this was the color choice or palette I used 255 from Sarah Renee Clark so these were my color choices and I do find that using a color palette uh, helps me uh, define uh, the color choices I just get them out and then I use what I have so uh, yeah I like how that turned out I do like that I went and added the glaze pen along the outside of the swans to bring them forward a little bit and uh, yeah and there was a lot of detail here um, that I just I was done with so I just colored them uh, a solid uh, purple color and that is the my one page from animal mandalas this book frogs and friends is a color along hosted by Amanda colors and uh, um, Meg's coloring corner and uh, yeah so they pick out a page every month this month they picked out this darling little uh, dragon kind of page that's carrying a frog in his mouth and I decided to uh, break out my Meaden acrylic paints and I and also some craft smart uh, metallic paint and so that's what I did for this and then I had some uh, various markers that I used for this guy so yeah just a little bit of fun and then of course uh, I had to put in some of the black lines so I grabbed this uh, brush black ink brush pen and uh, put some of the black lines in so not a stellar job but uh, I had fun just breaking out paint and doing something with paint for a change because 
it's always nice to mix up my mediums. Um, it keeps me more uh, creative. All right, the last book, but probably the book that has been consuming my time for uh, quite a bit of the month is Festive Coloring. I am working towards finishing the left-hand side of this entire book, so there will be 24 pages done by Christmas time. And so I have completed, uh, we are currently on, I just posted day 10 on Thursday of last week. Uh, so you hopefully have caught up and seen those first 10 days. So that means we have uh, 14 pages left, uh, which means I'm going to be doubling up in November and December. So I will be doing two pages a week, but that doesn't mean that you have to also be doing two pages a week. So um, color at your own speed, of course. Uh, and yes, so that is the plan. That's where I'm at. I did finish three pages. So I completed the how, page six, which is the house, page nine, Bluebell Hair Salon, and page 10, the book cafe. So those pages are done. Some of the other pages are like 95% of the way done, but of course, you know, you always want to go back and tweak them. So I'm not calling those pages done. So I haven't included them in my count. And I won't, unfortunately, be showing you any of the pages that I have completed today because we are saving those for the videos themselves during the whip series. And also we are going to have a big reveal in December. So if you have this book and you would like to color along, you have until the basically mid-December to send me, email me at jicolorist at gmail.com, your completed page. We are doing the left-hand side of the page only, which has the number on it. So complete that and email me a copy of your completed page. Make sure that your name is on it or I will be editing your, your uh, picture to add your name because I wanna make sure that everyone gets the proper credit. All right, so those are the 17 pages I completed. I did work a little bit on a uh, diamond painting, but I didn't finish that, so um, I won't have that to show you as of this time. But I am so happy that you are here with me today and that uh, you have chosen to watch my videos. So I just wanted to say thank you for being here. I hope you're having a colorful and creative week. I hope that whatever coloring you're doing, you find relaxing and enjoying and you're having fun. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video, which will be definitely a festive coloring book. All right, friends, take care for now. Bye-bye.